All right, what's up guys? It's Niall and welcome to another Instagram building hacks slash tips video. Uh, the last one, it's doing fairly well. You know, I don't get much traffic, but the last one's doing decent, you know, compared to most videos. And I just, I really enjoy making these videos because at the same time that I get to find these on Instagram and show y'all just different things, I also get to learn how to build these and implement them into what I build on my creative world and whatnot. All right, so let's get started. So our first one is gonna be this piston floor design. And this one's this one's really cool because it's, it, it really is very simple if you think about it, but you don't, you never see it really used often. And it's, it's a cool design, especially if you have like a steampunk kind of build or something, it really fit in well. And over here, all I did is I, uh, I came up with my own design. I was just messing around. And instead of, see with this, you just put a piston here, piston here, piston here, piston here, you get the idea. And then you just copy that like over and stay on the same kind of grid and whatnot. But over here, I did uh, the same thing, except in the middle, I did pistons going in kind of a circle. So they made this little fan shape, which I thought was cool. And then I also, yeah, I also backed up these pistons right here. So then it's basically solid pistons right there. This would be a little costly in survival, but I mean, if you wanna do it, go for it. All right, so for the next one, this one would look a lot better if it was on Java, because as you can see, it's a little glitchy, but I mean, look how, look how sick this is. Like, okay, so pretty much you get uh, an item frame, put two of them next to each other, and in the one to the right, you tilt it. Actually, this might be the normal. I, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what orientation it comes in, but you tilt it like this. And then this other one, you want to point whatever you have here straight up. And if you put this painting, which it helps if you, uh, if you put a block here, a block here, and then place your painting, I believe I placed it here or maybe here, but it'll make this painting and it perfectly lines it up with the two little guys standing here. So he's holding the sword and he's holding the pickaxe. I don't know why he's fighting with the pickaxe, but that's what they're doing. And like, when I saw this one on Instagram, I was like, how in the world have has nobody done this yet? Like, that's so cool. <laughs> All right, now for the next one. This one's a little more simple. We've got just a couch with pillows, but uh, it, this can add, you know, a lot more detail to your builds and uh, make people interested and be like, whoa, how'd you do that and whatnot. Pretty much all you do is uh, actually, can I? Ah, uh, I can't reach that banner. Hold on, let me grab a banner. I forgot where the banners are. Uh, aha, found them. All right, we're, we're gonna grab blue this time. So what you wanna do is you wanna get your stair and go ahead and make the couch you want. Once you have the couch, you put a trap door on both sides. So that's gonna be your kind of little armrest. And then you wanna destroy both the outside uh, ones, or at least the ones where you want the pillow to be. And I think it kind of needs to be the outside one. No, it, it doesn't, you'll, you'll see. So then you dig a hole down below each one and place your banner at whatever angle you want. All right, after minor technical difficulties, I'm back. And I just realized how slow I'm going, so I'm gonna try and speed this video up just so it's easier to watch. Okay, so now, after you dig your holes, you wanna place a banner at whatever angle you want. It can literally be like that, but that won't look good. I'd recommend this angle. And then you just uh, crouch and place it on, place your stair on the trap door, or you can place it on the inside of this stair. And voila, you got the, the couch. All right, now this is a really easy one to show. This is the, it's like a modern city kind of park uh, bench thing. And you know, you just have your little, your little bench and your little table. And it's just a really nice aesthetic that you can add to a park or something in a city. And people should be impressed. I mean, I don't know, maybe not. But um, all it is is a stone block with a stone half slab and then trap doors. Try and orient the trap doors in the same direction. It'll look a lot better. And then over here, it's just a, a trap door sideways or vertical and horizontal ones and whatnot. But yeah, that's that one. Moving on. This is our final showcase of today. And these are little uh, mob minifigure kind of things, except they're not really mini. As you can see, we have the Enderman here holding his grass block and the ghast. 
So I only built the Ghast and the Enderman here, but they have multiple different mobs on the Instagram post. There's a Creeper, there's I think a Wither Skeleton, there's, there's a few others I'm pretty sure. But they're all neat and little cool features that you can implement into your survival world. If you have these blocks, they are a little harder to obtain, but it would definitely be a cool uh, aspect to add to your base, no doubt. With all that being said, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Remember, if you want to check out the Instagram post, go to the description. I'll have all the links there. And uh, give the builders some love, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out. <music>